same problem pero this time ang shipping term ay FOB shipping point freight prepaid okay FOB shipping point freight prepaid so balikan natin yung note FOB shipping point sino ang may-ari ng goods in transit si buyer since si buyer ang may-ari siya ang mag-shoulder ng shipping cost so ibig sabihin lang nun si buyer ang dapat magbayad ng shipping cost who pays the freight cost ito ay freight prepaid so freight prepaid si seller ang nagbayad so FOB shipping point freight prepaid ang shipping cost dapat si buyer ang magbayad pero freight prepaid si seller ang nagbayad so kumbaga yung dapat bayaran ni buyer si seller ang nagbayad so parang ano siya parang hindi siya normal kumbaga parang hindi normal kumbaga parang unusual kasi bayarin dapat ni buyer gastusin dapat ni buyer yung shipping cost pero si seller ang nagbayad magkaiba yung party na responsible sa freight cost and yung party na nagbayad ng freight cost so paano kaya ang accounting treatment kapag ganun so update na natin yung ating table so na encounter na natin lahat siya FOB shipping point freight prepaid who shoulders the freight cost buyer who pays the shipping cost seller apply natin sa problem so same requirement prepare the entries needed for sana company and momo company sana company sana so june 16 debit accounts receivable credit sales 6,000 pesos how about the shipping cost so paano kaya ang gagawin natin sa shipping cost kapag FOB shipping point freight prepaid so ituloy natin yung additional information sana company paid the shipping cost on June 16 so freight prepaid kasi kaya si sana ang nagbayad ng shipping cost and added the 600 pesos to the invoice sent to Momo Company. Momo remitted 6,480 on June 24. So, alam na natin na freight prepaid and sinabi naman dito, sana paid the shipping cost. So, alam na natin na ang shipping cost, kailangan mag-entry si Sana kasi siya yung nagbayad. So, debit, ah sorry, credit, cash. Yung journal ent entry natin sa shipping cost, may credit cash. Eh, ano yung debit? Ang debit natin, tuloy natin ulit to. Sana company paid the shipping cost on June 16. And added the 600 pesos cost to the invoice sent to Momo Company. So, yung 600 pesos na binayad niya sa shipping cost, dinagdag niya dun sa invoice na, sinen, na binigay niya kay Momo Company. Kung baga, siningil ni Sana Company si Momo Company ng 600 pesos para dun sa freight charges. So, debit accounts receivable. 600 pesos. Okay. Eh, bakit niya naman kaya siningil? Kasi ang shipping term nila, ang shipping agreement nila, FOB shipping point freight prepaid. Shipping point, ibig sabihin si buyer dapat ang shoulder ng freight cost. Pero, binayaran na agad siya ni seller. Eh, since hindi naman dapat si seller ang magbayad, kasi FOB shipping point, si buyer naman talaga ang dapat magbayad ng shipping cost, kasi siya yung magsha-shoulder. Sisiningin niya ngayon si Momo Company para dun sa binayaran niya na shipping cost. Sisiningin niya si Momo Company para dun sa inabonohan niya muna na 600 pesos na shipping cost. So, ito yung entry for SANA. And, sa side naman ni Momo, 
Momo Company received the goods on June 17. And yung Sana Company's invoice on June 17. So, June 17, debit purchases na 6,000. Credit accounts payable, 6,000. How about yung shipping car charges? Magre-record kaya dyan si, ano, si Momo Company? Si Buyer Company, kailangan ba mag-record ng shipping cost? Yes, kasi FOB shipping point. Kapag FOB shipping point na yung term, ibig sabihin si Buyer na ang mag-shoulder ng freight charges. Meaning, siya ang magre-record ng account for freight charges. So, sa case na to, debit freight in. Kasi purchase, eh, 600 pesos. FOB shipping point. Buyer ang mag-shoulder ng freight cost. Eh, ano yung credit? Ang credit ay accounts payable. Utang niya kasi yan kay seller. Kasi FOB shipping point. Si Momo dapat ang magbayad kasi siya ang mag-shoulder ng shipping cost pero naging freight prepaid. Which is binayaran ni seller yung freight cost ng kanyang um, item na binili. So, lumalabas, may utang pa na 600 pesos si Momo Company kay Sana Company. Para dun sa free charges na binayaran ni Sana Company. On June 24, Momo sent the payment to Sana Company, which Sana Company received on June 25. So, dalawa yung kanyang utang Noong June 24, dalawa, um, nagbayad na siya and dalawa yung kanyang utang dito. Utang niya for the regular purchases and yung utang niya para dun sa freight charges. So, paghiwalayin natin ng entry. Baya, una natin i-record yung payment for purchases, regular purchases. June 24, debit accounts payable, 6,000, credit, cash. At what amount? That is 6,000 pesos times 98% na avail yung discount period. That is um, 5,880. And credit purchase um, credit purchase discount na 6,000 times 2%. That is 120. So, payment pa lang to for the regular purchases. So, meron pa siyang utang for freight in. So, debit accounts payable, credit, cash na 600 pesos. Okay. And remember, ang freight in, kapag merong payable na related sa freight charges, hindi yan sinasama sa pag-compute ng um, cash discounts. Ang palaging pinagbabasihan ng cash discounts ay yung pertaining sa regular purchases ng merchandise. And, sabi ng problem, Momo Company remitted 6,480 on June 24. So, yung breakdown ng 6,480 na yan, yung 5,880 dyan ay para sa regular purchase ng merchandise at yung 600 pesos dyan ay para sa payment ng freight charges. So, pinaghiwalay lang natin para makita nyo yung breakdown ng payment. And, June 25, na-receive na ni Sana yung payment. June 25. Okay, dalawa yung utang. I-record muna natin yung collection for regular sale debit cash 5,880 debit sales discount 120 credit accounts receivable 6,000 and yung collection for um, freight charges debit cash credit accounts receivable 600 pesos so tapos na yung entries natin for Sana Company and Momo Company. Kapag ang term niya ay um, FOB Shipping Point Freight Prepaid. And ito rin yung mga notes natin na ginawa. So, ipakita lang ulit natin. Ayan. And ito yung entries for um, 
sana company and momo company kapag ang term ay FOB shipping point freight prepaid.